Hey guys, it's JP, and this time I'm going to go into more detail on the step up, which is one of my favorite exercises for runners. Now initially, I was actually going to make a 60 second video on this, but I felt like it wouldn't do it justice, so I just went ahead and made a longer form video of it. Now let's get into it. Now why the step up? I've talked about this in more detail in a previous video, so I'll explain it simply here. It is a simple and practical way to engage some key muscle groups in running. One notable one is the quads, but you can bias other areas depending on how you do it. The ability to vary it is also another great reason to use it. I can adapt how the step up is done to match what the runner I am working with requires to reach his or her particular goals. One last reason I will mention here is that the step up contains some similar mood patterns seen in running. This can be noted with the thigh or quad region. You will notice that this phase of running works the quads in a similar manner as seen when you descend during the step up. Another is during the push off phase where the foot is about to leave the ground. You will notice the knee straightening like so. This also works the quad in a similar manner as you ascend during the step up. Now, let's talk a little more about things to keep in mind as you do the step up to get the most out of it, besides just changing the step height or the tempo of the movement. Before I get started on this, I want to make something clear. I don't want you guys to get too caught up in the details where it ends up stopping you from attempting this exercise. Rather, I just want you to think about this as a way to really maximize the benefits of it. Think about it as a skill you are constantly refining. Now, starting at the feet, try not to let the toes curl in. This typically occurs when someone has some unsteadiness standing on one leg. By trying to get your foot to stay more relaxed, this will bring more awareness to your feet, which may be beneficial considering that this is the first contact point of the body as you run. This will also challenge your single leg balance more and improve it, which may be another thing to consider as you are on up to one leg at a time as you run. Diving into the knee region, some people don't fully straighten out the knee at the top. If you want to really maximize the benefits here, try to get tall and fully straighten out the knee and see how that feels. This may work the quads a little more, but the thing you might notice is the most is the increased single leg balance demands. Something else to consider is that running involves multi-directional forces, so it's important to pay attention to the body from this view as well. To get the most out of the exercise, try not to let the knee collapse past the second toe as well as trying to keep, the, keep level hips. By maintaining this kind of alignment, this further builds coordination and control of the leg, which is important to consider as the leg works in a coordinated fashion as you run. Now, just because this step up is known primarily to engage the legs, don't neglect what happens above them. Torso angle can actually change how much certain leg muscles are working. I generally aim to keep the torso tall to really engage those quads and expand on single leg bounds. As I mentioned before, single leg bounds may be something to consider, especially if you are on up to one leg at a time as you run. As for arm position, I approach this multiple ways depending on your intention. For example, if it is more on strength, you could simply have them by your side as you hold some form of weight like dumbbells. If it is more for balance, you can lace your hands behind the head. You will find your balance being challenged more here. As for head position, generally I cue to look straight ahead to maintain a relatively neutral head position, which is similar to how the head is positioned most of the time as you run. And those are some details I look for during the step up and why they may be important for runners. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think, as well as any questions you may have. And as always, thank you for watching.